Both correspondence and coherence theories of truth have been criticized for their abstractness and dependence on arguments. Often the truth seems to depend more on what works in the real world. The way in which we uh, can judge our beliefs is by testing them in experience, uh, by seeing if they can sustain uh, an industry, whether they can predict the outcomes of experiments, whether they can uh, provide tools that will uh, keep an economy going. A theory about truth called pragmatism arose in late 19th century America. In his 1907 book, Pragmatism, a new name for some old ways of thinking, William James contrasts pragmatists with what he calls intellectualists. Truth, as any dictionary will tell you, is a property of certain of our ideas. It means their agreement, as falsity means their disagreement with reality. Pragmatists and intellectualists both accept this definition as a matter of course. They begin to quarrel only after the question is raised as to what may precisely be meant by the term agreement and what by the term reality. The great assumption of the intellectualists is that truth means essentially an inert static relation. When you've got your true idea of anything, there's an end of the matter. Pragmatism, on the other hand, asks its usual question. Grant an idea or belief to be true, it says, what concrete difference will its being true make in anyone's actual life? What is the truth's cash value in experiential terms? The moment pragmatism asks this question, it sees the answer. True ideas are those that we can assimilate, validate, corroborate, and verify. False ideas are those that we cannot. The truth of an idea is not a stagnant property inherent in it. Truth happens to an idea. It becomes true, is made true by events.